I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That thick... This is Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. Might take Four months years. to find him. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for you. Quartermaster! That's our present course. Do you wear the best, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for? It is indeed, Miss Bowden. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary in Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. I've no worries about this. Well, that's good to hear. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye. Not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Good. Will you send this to England for Aye. me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline and Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. Ah, praise God. 
for imported wine. Who can drink rum more than once a month? Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Hi, Mr. Ferraro. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the king's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, his majesty has seen fit to sack me. And call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Thank you for hosting my little sandbox. I have been too rambunctious. A little free with your speech today, but nothing to be hanged for. Why then, how's this? Soon, all the monarchies of the world will be obsolete, and when that day comes, men like Torres and myself will reveal ourselves as the architects of their undoing. Oh, Christ, Rogers, you're a bold one. faintest idea and I'd only tend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. once how is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world you couldn't possibly understand my motives cretin you will spend a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine but i do understand i've seen the observatory and i know its power you'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage yes and yet all for a greater purpose to ensure justice, to snuff out lies, and to seek truth. There's no, no man on earth who needs that power. Yet, you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. I'm not gonna wait around to see how this ends. That man there! The Italian!
It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. <laughs> 